As we have a lot of actors in the audience today, uh, I'm curious, can you share anything about your process um, in terms of preparing for a role, in particular this one? Is, is there, I mean, for example, there's a lot of really vulnerable moments um, for Curtis. Um, where do you find that vulnerability in yourself? Mm. I don't know. I mean, a lot of it, it's not, it's not too complicated for, for me. I, sometimes I wish it was more complicated, but I just, um, cause then I could really brag about it. But it's, <laughs> um, it's just more like, you know, the first day, the very first day of shooting, like I stopped shooting Boardwalk Empire season one on like a Friday. And on Monday, I started Take Shelter. I had two days. I flew to Ohio. I met Jessica Chastain for the first time in my life. It's like, okay, we're gonna be married. We're gonna have this child. We're gonna make the child, who is actually deaf. And uh, I'm fumbling around with the sign language. I was lucky enough that weekend, somehow I had the, the sense to get my script and put it in a binder. That, that, was, that was my crowning achievement. I showed up on the set one day, I was like, I put my script in the binding. And uh, like, that's great. And then that day, the first day, the first scene I shot was buying the gas mask. And the second scene, which involved Jessica, was the scene at the end where we go to the psychiatrist and he says, you should go to the hospital. And that's where we started. And Jessica, was terror. She's like, how can we do this? We don't have no idea. Absolutely no idea what's going on. And my advice to myself and her and anyone else is just relax. You understand what this is like. I'm assuming most of the people, I know I have most of the people in this profession at some point probably, I don't want to, I don't want to insult anybody, but may have gone to a therapist at some point. <laughs> so, I think, well, what was that like for me? I really hated it. The first time I went, yeah, I felt, I, the first time I went to the therapist, I went and I took every book on his shelf and I put it on the floor. I just cleaned all the books off the shelf. I said, you don't know anything. And I turned around and walked out. So that's probably how Curtis feels. So, and you know, Jessica, you obviously are a very fragile, vulnerable person. You know, figure it out. You know, we'll be fine. Just take a deep breath, relax, and everything will be okay. And that's, that's kind of my approach.